what it is, YouTube. What it is? TFO619 in the building, and uh, got my Arizona regionals report. And I guess it's kind of like a Sunday come up, because it's Sunday, so um, yeah, I, I didn't go to league, so this is what I got from the regionals. Um, I'll go over my deck that I played, I'll go over my matches, um, and all that good stuff. But um, first, uh, I got some cool stuff, well, I mean, for, for entering and playing, you know, registering and stuff, so I got a sick Arizona regional die. I don't know if you guys can even see that kind of thing. It probably lost focus now nah, I did that. But it's a lime green dye, playable, my favorite color. Heads, you know what it is. Um, and then they gave us, you know, the wristband, Arizona Regional Championships 2016. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. And then what I really wanted was the play mat. So I got the Volcanian. You guys know me. Um, so maybe eventually down the line I'll get the Mega Gardevoir mat because I'm going to build Mega Gardevoir um, once we get that Dragonite. But um, yeah, I, I love this mat. I think it's pretty sick. It, I think it looks pretty sick. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Um, so I chose the Volcanion. has the October 2016 Phoenix, Arizona stamp on it. Legit. So yeah. Um, I didn't pick up too much um, at regionals. I uh, got my homie some sleeves. He wanted some Mega Gyarados sleeves, so I got my homie some Mega Gyarados sleeves. I'm gonna give to him. Um, but card-wise, uh, what I got was um, I got a. I'll do it this way. I got a, a Magnezone Level X. You know, if anybody was into the old cards like I am, um, I got a Magnezone Level X. I got a reverse takeout Machamp and then two regular takeout Machamps. Um, I got 10. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, pretty shiny fairy energy. Um, I got two or two, four versus Seeker. So I got a playset of versus Seeker from my homie Pokey Logan. What's happening? Shout out to Pokey Logan. What would it do? And then uh, he actually traded me his Shaman EX. So I got number 18. Half art, I'll still take it. I don't need all full art. Um, at this point, I don't need any more full art, really. But um, yeah, actually, he traded me this play set of Versus Seeker. And he traded me his half art Shaman EX. So that was really cool of him. Um, he didn't really have to uh, do that, and but he did. So I really appreciate that, Poke Logan. So go check out his channel. And then... Um, I don't know if you guys know, but Serena was there, and I know, I know, her her favorite Pokemon is Gloom, but I didn't have a Gloom, so I asked her to sign my Bioplume, and she signed my Bioplume, so thanks Serena for signing my Bioplume, that was really cool of you, and yeah, that's everything I got, regionals, I know it wasn't a lot, um, but I really went there to, to try to play um, and compete, um, and so... This is the deck I played. Um, I played Plume Box. Um, and I'll tell you about my matches. Um, this is my list. Um, I'm just going to go through it real quick. I played three Oddish, three Gloom, three Bioplume, three Shaman, uh, two Jolteon EX, one Glaceon EX, one Darkrai EX, one Evil Tall EX, one Mewtwo EX, one Aegislash EX, one Magirna EX, and one Cabalian EX. I love this card. Uh, I played three. Professor Sycamore, I played three N, three AZ, uh, two Lysander, two Ninja Boy, and one Chorus, uh, four Ultra Ball, three Trainer's Mail, three Pokemon Communication, which surprisingly a lot of people didn't know what this did. Um, you put a Pokemon back and from your hand into your deck and then search your deck for another Pokemon, so it's like a one for one if you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, yeah, but I played three of those. I was really surprised when people were like, what does that do? I was like, oh, it's crap. Crazy. Uh, play, my aspect was computer search. I played four. Um, Force of Giant Plants. I played four Rainbow Energy, four Double Colorless Energy, and two Prism. Um, that was the deck that I played. Um, I'm not going to... There is a couple cards in here that I, I wish I would have changed. Um, 
or played, I should say. Um, but I'm not going to go into that because I'm probably going to play this for San Jose. And I'm not going to give my changes uh, on the internet just yet. But that was the list that I played at Arizona. Um, sorry, I have to get my phone because I kind of just took some notes with my matches. Um, so round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, nine. There was nine rounds. Um, my total record was four, uh, four, four, one, four. And um, yeah, four ties. Wow. Um, and uh, to go over my matches, uh, my first, the first round I played was Keldeo Blastoise uh, deck. Um, and uh, it went to game three, game one. Um, yeah, game one I won. Um, I got the plume and uh, just kind of ran through them with Jolteon. And no, sorry, no, I ran, I actually ran, yeah. I ran through him with Jolteon and I won game one. Uh, game two, of course, he goes first because he knows I'm playing Plume and Expanded. Really, yeah, pretty much, yeah, and Expanded definitely. There's no, there's no reason not to go first. Like, So I win game one. Uh, he goes first game two, um, and he gets the turn one Archies off and, you know, dumps a bunch of energy, and that's pretty much all she wrote. So I lose game two. Going to game three, of course, I go first, and uh, I set up the Plume. I set up the plume, and I might even, I'm not even swinging with the Jolteon. I'm swinging with Mewtwo, and um, his hand was all items. He had a uh, not all items. No, he um, what did he? He started he started Keldeo, but and then but if I didn't item lock him right away, he was able to get the turn one Archies again, and he had like the Jirachi in his hand and pretty much all items. And uh, I ended up like attaching a double colorless. I X balled. I uh, attached another double colorless, I X-Balled, and then I attached like a Rainbow and Prism, and X-Balled, or I think I, I think I Ninja Boyed into Evil Tall, maybe, and that was that, so I win game one. Uh, game two, uh, I play a dark deck, um, like Speed Dark, and I actually lose this, I actually lose this round. Um, game one, game one, uh, uh, it was going back and forth, and then he ends up winning. Uh, game two, I set up plume. Well, I set up plume. Um, all every every single round when I went, except for when I got turn two plume. But other than that, um, every time that I played first, I got the turn one plume. It was so gross. But um, game two, I just pretty much flash raid his whole deck. I got the plume up, of course. Uh, I kept my bench to a minimum so he couldn't lie Sander stall me. Uh, for the most part, throughout all the games, um, if I had the AZ or Ninja Boy, my shame is off my bench. I would just turn him into whatever I needed. Um, I would definitely make sure I like Plume, um, if not one or two Plumes, if I just had it uh, and had like a Darkrai, uh, Shaman, and whatever my other attack was on my bench. That's what I usually try to keep my bench um, at, but I ended up just flash rating his everything because he played evil tall so weakness and all that good stuff he can play his items and that was all she wrote uh go to game three and i start a lone oddish that's all i have in my hand is a lone oddish um he goes first of course uh he gets this me and the only two he gets my hand was pretty pretty terrible um but i had two trainers mail to get out of it but he gets this me for the two trainers mail so i shuffle him back in he draws two and does whatever he does i top deck a trainer's mail um, and I whiff on everything. It was like, I, it was like an AZ and like two Pokemon and an energy. And that was that. So I pass, he goes, he does his stuff. He attached energy to the Night Spirit Dark Rye and, you know, plays his item and passes. Um, uh, I top deck some jank and, uh, I attach, I think I attach a rainbow. I attach a rainbow to the Oddish and then... My hand is so bad, I chorus for three. That's how bad my hand was. I chorus for three, and I get Pokemon Communication, Rainbow Energy, and I think Force the Giant Plants, and uh, I end turn. He goes, he plays Sycamore, um, and attaches like to his active or whatever, but he can't attack, so then he just passes. I go, and I top deck. I think a double colorless 
and I was like, all I need is a Pokemon so I can play that communication and, you know, get my shaman and, you know, set up because dark ain't, dark ain't nothing. I will dark all day. I don't care. Um, but I don't. I, like, top deck, like, a double colorless energy, and I pass. And uh, he goes again. He... I think he's Sycamores. I want to say he's Sycamores, and then he whiffs the energy to Night Spear for the game. So then he does some other stuff, but he he he, he whiffed the energy. That's how I got another turn. So he passes, and then um, it's my turn again, and I top deck uh, Lysander, which isn't gonna help me whatsoever. And then he goes and he plays a Sycamore, gets the energy, and Night Spear is my lone Oddish. So I lose in game three, um, just because of that luck sack or whatever. Um, game or round round three, sorry. Um, I play a dark dark deck and I tie with it. Um, I, I I don't remember the matchup. I couldn't tell you. I, I I don't remember what it what it was. I'm sorry. I'm no. I'm pretty sure it was some kind of speed dark deck and I'm just flash rated or whatever. So I I tie. I tie in that one, so I'm one, one, one. Um, <clears throat> round four, I play the mirror match, so plume box versus plume box, um, and I won that one relatively easy. Um, he was a player that was that he came from Yu-Gi-Oh. Not to say that Yu-Gi-Oh is whatever. You know, everybody has their own opinions, but he had only been playing Pokemon for maybe like a month or two, and uh, he was playing plume box, and he didn't play Magearna EX which all plume box should play and i was playing that cabalian ex and uh, if you guys don't know what that cabalian ex does uh for one metal energy um it does has righteous edge it hits for 30 and you discard a special energy attached to the defending pokemon and then for two steel and a colorless it has steel bullet and it does 100 and it hits through everything and i played that card specifically for the mirror match and to get through safeguarders and to get through opposing flash ray pokemon flash ray jolteon is the reason why i played that cabalian ex and it helped me a lot during the day um so that's how i won the mirror was uh, i just got the cabalian out since he didn't play magir and i just righteous that righteous edged all his energy and just kept attaching to the cabalian ex and um when he would send up the Aegislash, Slash, I would do Steel Bullet for 100, and even though I have special energy, it hits through Aegislash's Slash's ability, so he couldn't wall me that way, and uh, he flash raided me maybe twi twice at the most, but my Steel Bullet goes through uh, the flash ray, and it doesn't apply weakness or resistance, so it is just a straight 100, so it two-shotted, you know, two shots the the uh, the Jolteon, and I win game one and game two relative, relatively easy, but he was he was cool. You know, it was cool. You know how black people are when they get together. So we were just laughing and stuff. And uh, I was telling him about the Cabalian. And then he didn't play the Magirna. I told him why he should play the Magirna for stuff like Cabalian. But yeah, so I just, I, I 2 0 him really, really easy with that Cabalian. Uh, round five. Yeah, round five, I play, uh, I play Dark. And uh, it was dark. It was basically dark, but it ran like it ran. I think a two two. I don't think it ran a three three. Um, it ran a two two mega Audino line, which was really funky. And we were going back and forth, and you know, just pretty much evil balling and X balling each other for massive amount of damage. And then it went to game three, and uh, we we had a tie. Uh, round six, one two three four. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. yeah. Round six, uh, I play Rayquaza, and I'm Crystal Ring with the Jolteon, you know, so the Rayquaza, the Rayquaza can't touch it. And it goes to game three, and time's called. No, 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 excuse me, no. It's game two. I win game one because I Crystal Ray the crap out of everything, and uh, so I win game one. It goes to, it's game two, and time is called. Time is called, and um, so I'm like, okay, well, he really can't win, you know, in the time, and I've already won game one, so I'll, I'll win, you know, I'll be shooing, because at this point, you have to win out and everything like that, and basically, um, he plays Skyla, he Skyla's for the, the, uh, the Lissandre to Lissandre up, 
a shaman or something because he needed two more prizes. And um, I play N. Well, after he's got his Philosandra, obviously he has game in hand. Um, and I play N. And I kid you not, he probably had like a th maybe 30, 35 to 40 card deck like left. Like 30, 35 to 40 cards left in his deck. And I end him to two. And he draws his two cards. He can't play him. I crystal ray, and then he tops deck. He do top decks the Lissandre to Lissandre up my shaman, and then Emerald break it to get his last two prizes. And since time was called or whatever, we couldn't play game three, so it was a tie. I was so salty. I was like, ah, fucking luck sack. Um, to cut him into the Lissandre after like a forty card deck. You kidding me? Um, so I tie there. Uh, round. Seven, I play a dark deck and just stomp it. I just stomp it with Jolteon and Evil Tall. And that was really much all she wrote. They had a bunch of items and that was that. Um, round seven, or excuse me, round eight, I play dark again and I tie. And uh, I actually played against Serena, the one who signed that the card for me. And um, I don't know if you guys are on Verbank, but where there are all the memes and pictures of the lights being out and everybody having their hands up, that was the round that happened. Um, the lights cut out and, you know, I guess, you know, pr to prevent, you know, manipulation of cards or cheating or anything like that. They like made the entire regionals like, you know, back away from the tables. And then we all had to put our hands in the air until the lights got cut back on, which was pretty retarded. Um, seeing as though this tournament started like three hours late anyway and uh, when that happened it was like it was like 11.30 at night or whatever we're still playing rounds um, so uh, it's a tie um, I scoop game one because uh, she she had something she had something active I already got the trainer lock and I just had a bunch of items in my hand and um, like a Lissandre that didn't matter and uh, she's hitting my Jolteons on the bench. And after a while, I think she has like three prizes left and I have like four still. Um, so I just scoop. And then I play game, I play first game two, I get Plume, um, I set up Jolteon and then I'm just flash ring everything. Um, then uh, lights went out, yada, yada, yada. Uh, game three, we're going back and forth. Um, and she just has just a, a just, a butt ton of items just item city over there and um time is called um she's item locked i have like a 15 card hand i have you know two of them are two i have like rainbow energy in my hand prism energy just in case he wants to lysander and i have free re to get free retreat my dark cry um i have az i have like two az in my hand i'm like my hand set i don't need to play anything um and uh I'm just flash rain because she played, you know, evil tall. So I'm hitting for weakness and just she can't hit my Jolteon. And um, time is called and she she choruses for for six. I think she plays chorus for six and her dark right EX has a ton of damage on it. Her evil tall, her evil tall EX has a ton of damage on it. And um, she choruses for six. And she knows she knows I have game in hand. I just need a flash ray, literally the evil tall or the dark ray again, and I get my last two prizes. And um, she courses for six, and she like drops a silent lab. She drops a she drops a silent lab, and she drops I think a Mewtwo, and she pays she pays the evil tall's retreat to retreat into the Mewtwo, and passes so I, I don't have the win conditions on the the evil tall and the dark right so I just flash ray and then that was that was my last turn so she was able to just get that one Pokemon pay its retreat and then just take a take a flash ray and made it a tie and the last round I played dark again and um, it was the it was the only dark that it was the only dark deck that I played um, all day really that um that played uh it played hypnotoxic laser all the other darks th that i played today didn't play laser laser bank um 
they played like Silent Lab and Parallel City and stuff. But this is only this is the first deck I played Laser, um, and I win. I win that one, so I go four one four, and um, uh, there wasn't really much happening. The only really clutch play I did was he had like a he had my Glaceon because he was able to play like the hip, the one Hypnotoxic Laser. He hit the Sleep Flip. Um, and uh, he did whatever. Um, I get the plume set up, and um, I think it was locked. I think it was locked for a minimum of two turns because I had a Jolteon ready to flash ray the crap out of his whole deck. And um, what I did was because my 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 Jol my Jolteon my Glaceon was asleep, and I flipped tails on the sleep flip, so I stayed asleep. Um, what I did was I played Ninja Boy, and I, I chose the Glaceon as my target, and I Glaceon I put Glaceon back in the deck, and then I Ninja Boyed into an Oddish, and then the damage that was on the Glaceon on the Oddish was a knockout. So I, I basically purposely knocked myself out to get my Glaceon out of the active spot so I can promote the Jolteon and Flash Ray. And he was really dumbfounded on why like why i did that you know because i i essentially just gave him a free prize but in the long run you know as you players know um you know whatever's active is what you want active and i of course flash rain the entire dark deck you know was the the key was the key play and he was really he was really confused and didn't understand why I ninja boyed the Glaceon into the Oddish to give him a free prize. But I was trying to explain to him because I failed the sleep check. I could have retreat it, retreat the Glaceon, and I needed a flash ray right away um, because some key stuff was prized. So I thought it was a clutch play, and I, I ended up winning that game, of course, because I kept flash raying him. Um, but I guess that was just the cool, mo the cool moment of that. So I went for 4 one four. Uh, didn't top. If, if you guys didn't know by now, Greninja won the whole regionals, um, and I guess that was cool. So yeah, that's my that's my regionals report. Um, I had a lot of fun. Um, I definitely feel that the plume box at that given point in time was the right meta call um, in general, um, and I'm glad I decided to play the deck because my losses. My, my losses and pretty much my my ties were like not legit my my loss was because i started the lone oddish and couldn't get anything um and then my ties were because people you know luck sacked and i got you know they top decked their sick their juniper or their lissandre to make it a tie or they dropped their pokemon and took an attack to make it a tie or whatever um but it is what it is um, I'm gonna play a different, not a different, but I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change some cards in this um, if I'm gonna go to San Jose. Um, but right now it's time to focus on uh, Dallas. Well, yeah, well California is before Dallas, but yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I know it's been a long video, um, but some people are into that. Um, I guess what I set aside at the end of this segment is i filmed a couple of random clips i think i, I filmed me in like i filmed me in like the hotel room and then i filmed i did like 10 seconds like when i had to wake up at like the butt crack of dawn to uh to get ready and then um i filmed some of the the event not not the rounds or anything but when they're like going over the rules and i show like how many people are actually there there was like 400 something 500 something masters there um so yeah um stay tuned for that thanks so much for watching guys make sure you like comment rate subscribe uh, mega steelix deck is coming like tomorrow it's coming um rainbow road is probably coming tomorrow if not sometime this week um but mega steelix for sure is coming tomorrow and yeah if you guys went to regionals um Hope you guys had a good time. I met a lot of fellow YouTubers, a lot of people that watch my channel, signed a grip of cards. You guys know how that is. But um, yeah, I'm done talking. Um, enjoy my match. Be jelly. And until next time, peace. What up, YouTube? Made it into Arizona.
the mind at good times. But, uh, yeah, I'm about to start getting to work, you feel me? You better feel me. So uh, I can't wait to see a lot of you guys tomorrow and uh, meet you and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, the boy's here, Phoenix, Arizona again. I've been here plenty of times. I'm actually staying in the same place I did last year when I came. But um, yeah, uh, hope you guys get a good night's sleep. And uh, see you guys in the AM. Peace. Uh, you too. This is trash. I'm lying right off and now it's time to get ready. Six thirty. Oh, where'd it go? Oh. Yeah. Seventy-five degrees already. In Phoenix. Oh gosh. Uh, well, let me get ready and uh, hide you guys. I'm done. Ah. Oh, you know me. Look at that sick ass mat. Singles, I'm about to buy me a beach or two. Right now, Rock's going to go.